Hello everybody and welcome again at GamingBoulevard.com As you can see I am going to show you the Hyrule Historia book from The Legend of Zelda and this is the English version. As you can see the cover really looks great in those gold letters to write for symbol of the godnesses Hyrule Historia. As you may know we already did the Japanese version of the Hyrule Historia and Fun fact about the English version is that it's much bigger. So Japanese, English, you see the English version is bigger and thicker. So that means that our pages will be full of nice big detailed pictures. Okay, just like the Japanese version, I will show you this English version page by page. So let's start. I would like to thank all of the viewers and all of the people who commented on our Japanese version of the video. It was one of the most successful videos we did. So thank you for the support guys and I hope you enjoy this English version as much as you did the Japanese version. So the first page is Miyamoto telling his story on the 25th anniversary of the Legend of Zelda franchise. Fun looking autograph, same one as a Japanese, but now as you can see, all text is translated in English. So, the contents of the book the legend begins, starts with Skyward Sword, then the history of Hyrule, and creative footprints. So, first off, the legend begins the world of Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword was released on Wii. And was the first Zelda game really that really support motion controls. It was made around those controls, unlike Twilight Princess, which was actually developed for GameCube. So here, nice artwork of Skyward Sword. The different Loft Wings versions. The final version of the Loft Wing. The feathered friend of Link different shields. As you can see all the text is in English and really is fun to watch. Is our, is our hero always oversleeping? Link is sleeping a lot during opening scenes of Zelda. So it appears that on the bottom of the page he sometimes will have fun facts. So here's Zelda from Skyward Sword. Different styles, different dresses, just like the Japanese version, but much bigger pages. Look, if we compare them, so here's the page of Zelda in the Japanese version. As you can see, it's a lot smaller, so the English version is bigger, so that's definitely a positive note from Nintendo. Thank you for that. And thank you Dark Horse, Dark Horse for publishing this book in English. Here we go. Some more character designs. The enemy of Skyward Sword. It could look like this. Or like this. With this haircut. But eventually he turned out to be this. Some more artwork. Impa. So as you can see, the content of the book is just the same as the Japanese version, but now, if you're English, you can understand the book thanks to the English text. A lot of people will really appreciate this. Nice artwork, again, little quote on the bottom. Skyloft. Gorgeous artwork. So, this book is republished in English, but actually it's looking as 
good and as great as the original Japanese version. I uh, even would say that this version looks better because the pages are bigger and the text is better spread on those bigger pages. So some more characters, students of the Night Academy. The Bazaar. All from Skyward Sword, the game that released on Wii. One of the last games to release on Wii. One of the last big games to release on the system. And it was really worth playing. Had a different view on the story. Actually showing Link in Skyloft, City in the Skies. It was a rather unique game. Visual style compared to Wind Waker. Not as much as the more realistic Zelda's like Twilight Princess. So here we go. I remember this little one. I showed them to you in the Japanese version as well. Different costumes. People of Skyloft. Unused. So these didn't appear in the game but Nintendo did create them but they didn't make it into the game Statue of the Godness People of the Sky Islands so as you can see a lot of information about Skyward Sword Pumpkin Landing Milk bar, again unused footage, unused characters, so it really is great that this book is in English and now you can understand that these characters are unused, something that was rather hard to discover in the Japanese version of the book. Beautiful drawings. as well as really interesting pieces of text. So you can see the text pieces aren't that big. So it really is fun to read. You can read it every day you would. Oh yeah, here we go. Farron Woods. I recall that I said Alden Woods in the Japanese version. Sorry for that. My mistake. Farron Woods, of course, not Alden Woods. Sorry for the mix-up, guys. Let's kind of late when I did the Japanese version but Farron Woods yeah. Farron the Water Dragon it rhymes the Gorons nice artwork a really old Goron Forest creatures. Elden Volcano. Nice artwork. Really, it's really great to see that Nintendo and the Zelda team put a lot of effort in creating this book giving fans a chance to actually witness the artwork of the games. So I must say, if you are a Zelda fan and you don't already own the Hyrule Historia English version or Japanese version, I would really recommend it. It really is a great, great book. And I bet your fellow Zelda fans will be jealous if you have this book. So it's definitely worth buying. The book also came in a very limited edition. Only 4,000 copies were released of that book. Nintendo World Store had several of those. More will launch later this month. 
but those are really limited so those have like golden edges around the pages and a different layout a different front so this is a regular version of the Hyrule Historia English book but as you can see regular is quite enough actually it's a big beautiful book monsters that haunt the surface threats of the sky so yeah enemy page more enemies of sky word sword big enemies you might remember those you have to cut your way through them a lot journey skyward sword the dead warriors magical beings so the more hard enemies to defeat actually okay so this was it for the first part now we go to the history of Hyrule with this nice artwork also found in the Japanese version history of Hyrule this is the most interesting part for most so Hyrule chronologically land of the gods this is a telling of tales passed on through the ages by humans. And of course, the timeline. So we start off with the legend of the godness and the hero. Skyward sword. Minus cap, four swords. Ocarina of Time. Then you can go, the hero is defeated, and then you have a link to the past, Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Season, Link's Awakening, The Legend of Zelda, and The Adventure of Link. But you also have the timeline, the hero is triumphant, that is, one, the sacred realm remains protected, Majora's Mask, Twilight Princess, Four Swords Adventures, or Ganondorf is sealed. Then you have the Hero of Winds and a New World, the Wind Waker, Phantom Hourglass, and Spirit Tracks. So this is the official timeline of the Zelda franchise. A lot more games will be added to this timeline in the future. So it all started with the creation. The world created by the goddesses. The th three goddesses, the symbols are found on the cover of the book as well. Triforce. The ancient battle. The goddess and the battle. So this is really the most interesting part of the book. It really tells you the story of the franchise, of the Legend of Zelda franchise Chrono chronologically development of Skyloft the alphabet the Skyward Sword was one of the first Zelda games in the timeline surface Zelda return to the past the two springs Link becomes a true hero as you can see his sword is gaining the power of a sacred flame resurrection of the demon king The seal of the sacred real, realm, the bell for a sacred realm. The Picori and the Light Force, Minish Cap. Vati Reborn, the Four Swords training, so Four Swords Adventures, 
as well as minus cap set in that time. You can see all great looking artwork from all the games represented in this timeline. Seal is broken, so that's where Four Swords kicks in. Four heroes, the great fairies, Vati. Hyrule Kingdom in Chaos, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Those chosen by the Triforce, Gandalf, Zelda, Impa, Link. The Spiritual Stones, Gandalf's Rebellion, Sheka. Link's horse, Epona, the Hero of Time, the Six Sages, found in Ocarina, Gandalf, the Gerudo alphabet, for those who want to read and write Gerudo, this is your chance. The decline of Hyrule and the last hero. The imprisoning war, sacred realm, is sealed by the sages. So this is another storyline. It's the era of light and dark, a link to the past. So you can always find that over here, in which era you are reading this and which games are set in that era. So it really is a great book to have a lot of information but really gorgeous and created with a lot of love by Nintendo and translated with a lot of love and care from Dark Horse. More artwork Oracles of Seasons, also set in the era of light and dark. Link's Awakening, also set in that same era, light and dark. The Great King and the Triforce of Courage. This is the Golden Era, the Adventure of Link. Next up, Era of Decline, The Legend of Zelda, the first Zelda on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Remade for a lot of other systems, like Game Boy, with the Nintendo Entertainment Classic games. Also available in the eShop Virtual Console, if you want to play the first Zelda. The second one is available as well. The Twilight Realm. A lot of artwork, a lot of text, so the timeline has received a lot of information, a lot of extra text. As a Zelda fan, all of this is of course a must, must read. This is Twilight Princess. Released on Wii and GameCube, originally made for GameCube, then ported to Wii. Four Swords. The Hero of Winds and a New World. The Chronicle of the Sinking of Hyrule, The Wind Waker. Wind Waker, one of the most original Zelda games out there. Definitely if we talk about the graphics, so really cartoony, really unique game as far as the graphics go, but as well as the story. It was one of the first Zelda games where you had to discover a real, an entirely new world actually 
So actually Hyrule was flooded and a lot of new islands appeared. It was up to Link to discover those and to defeat evil once again. Great news for fans of The Wind Waker, Nintendo is remaking this game on Wii U, releasing October or November. Moves on to Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks on Nintendo DS. The history leading up to a new Hyrule can be found in Spirit Tracks, the game with the trains on Nintendo DS. Beautiful artwork. Merchandise, so the limited edition, playing cards, Nintendo Private card, Legend of Zelda, Four Swords, Anniversary Edition. Then we have Creative Footprints, documenting 25 years of artwork. So here can be found a lot of interesting artwork from the first Zelda game, development materials like cards, dungeons and so on. Concept art. More concept art. The Adventure of Link. Also great artwork. You can see Happy Link. It's really great to see all those artworks. Link's Awakening. So development notes. How enemies would react. Ocarina of Time Link. More characters of Ocarina of Time. Saria, Rudo and Aburo. Ganondorf and his horse. So, I really hope you're enjoying this video as much as you did enjoy our other video of the Japanese version. The book itself doesn't really contain new material. It's just translated in, in English on bigger pages. So the artwork yeah, has a bit more space but really looks gorgeous. Who is Tingle? Link from the Wind Waker, soon to be remade on Wii U. Tetra. King of Red Lions. First, it would look like this. So as you can see, it's a rather big book. I'm now at page 160. And there's a lot more to come. So it really is worth your money. You really get a lot of artwork, a lot of details, a lot of new information about the Legend of Zelda in this book. You can't find it anywhere else. I wish I could tell you all about it, everything that is included, but you may understand it would take you forever to listen to it and to watch our video. So I hope you enjoy this first look at all pages, at all the artwork, so you know what you can expect and what you want when you buy this book in stores. I really recommend all of the Zelda fans who buy this. Definitely worth having. Twilight Princess, a lot of links. A wolf link. Midna. A lot of different helmets, emotions. Different designs. Zelda. Zend. 
Again on the dwarf. Again with the horse. The light spirits. Sages. So the here ancient hero it is confirmed that this is actually a link from Ocarina of Time for those who still weren't sure about that. More artwork. All looking gorgeous. Goron tribe. The Zora type. A lot of great artwork. The monsters. As you can see, the book really is full of gorgeous looking artwork. It really is impressive actually to have this book in your hands. As a Zala fan, it really is some kind of sacred book, some kind of book you will have to buy, have to keep for the rest of your life. Beautiful book, beautiful work by Nintendo, delivering all this Gorgeous artwork. We move on to Phantom Hourglass. Different costumes of Link in Spirit Tracks. Sages in spirit tracks, it is. So beautiful, beautiful artwork. Really beautiful book. I can't repeat it enough. It's definitely a book every Zelda fan in the world should have. Definitely now that's in English, a lot more people understand English than. Japanese so you no longer have an excuse not to buy this book I hope by showing you guys all those beautiful pages that we really can convince you to go to store and pick up a copy for your own because it really is gorgeous more concept art Tower of Spirits. Changes in character design, so the evolution of Link. Of Zelda. All characters have been through a lot of transformation throughout the years. And Ganon. Game catalog, so you have Legend of Zelda, Adventure of Link, Link to the Past, Link's Awakening, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Oracle of Seasons and Ages, Wind Waker, Link to the Past and Four Swords, Four Swords Adventures, Minish Cap, Twilight Princess, Link's Crossbow, Crossbow Training on Wii, Phantom Hourglass, Spirit Tracks, Ocarina of Time, all on DS, Ocarina of Time 3DS, exclusive and rare Zelda titles is the Collector's Edition, The Legend of Zelda, now wrapping things up, Final Word, 
from the director and producer of The Legend of Zelda. So this ends the Hyrule Historia at page 239. But what remains is the manga. And as you can see, stop warning sign, I'm reading the manga wrong way around. So I have to close the book and start from here. So this is a short message that this manga is released. It starts with some beautiful colored drawings of Link in a Skyward Sword game. So the manga is translated in English, but has remained true to the original version in the Japanese Hyrule Historia book. So this was it for the colored pages. We move on to the black and white ones. But they look stunning as well. So the manga gives you another look at the adventures Link has to face as well as a rather different art style. So the manga really is fun and there's a nice little bonus to this already great book. As you can see a lot of time has been spent drawing those. The Master Sword. Long live the beautiful land of Hylia. And long live this beautiful book as well. the last page of the manga. So, we reached the end of the Hyrule Historia book, English version. I really hope you enjoyed this video and that you enjoyed this look inside the English version of the Hyrule Historia. If you still doubt to buy this game, I hope this video can convince you uh, not the game, the book of course. I hope it can convince you to buy it in stores because it really is an amazing book. Thanks again for the support guys. Please subscribe, please comment and stay tuned for a lot more videos at GamingBoulevard.com. See you next time.